Don't forget to put your calendar in your. Yes. I've got to get papers real quick too. Um, I forgot to grab them out of my drawer. That has to go to R and R with you. Do you remember what I told you yesterday, don't Say you? No. Huh? Yes or no. <laughs> you get out of here, you go home and take care of that beautiful little boy. It's not, it's not his type, though. Hmm? It's not his type. Yeah, that's the reason I couldn't get into it. Okay, I'm going to set this here so I can go get my paperwork. Are you ready? I wish you all the luck in the world. Come on. They're ready for you. Fire door. Now, when you get down that, uh, there, you hand this to the officer, okay? It's mine. That's yours to keep. All right. This goes. The With this, yes. All right. Thank you, Granny. Uh-huh. Good All luck. Right. You too. Good luck. Step back. All right, boys, I need you to strip. Hands out in front of you, thumbs down. Need you just 
Then to the right. No, you're right. Oh. No. You're right. No. Spin back. There. That's good. And you spin back. Need you to uh, put your knees up here. It's this way. All right. Yet. Uh, give me your DLC, please. One eight, one four five. All right. Step. When I do this intake, I'm not going to ask you if you did any of this, and I don't want you to tell me, you know, your side of the story. I'm not going to do that, okay? You've been here. This is your sixth complaint. No, actually, this will be your seventh complaint. You just left here, and that is, what, two weeks later, and you're here. Like I said, I, school has always been good for me, so I have extra credits, and I have more credits than I'm supposed to. I don't even... If I, if I wouldn't have gotten in trouble, all I had to do was go to the school to December, and I would have been done. But since I'm in here, I'm, I'm falling behind, so I have to probably have to finish school for the rest of the year. I didn't even have to go to school for the rest of the year. And if I wouldn't have gotten in trouble last year, I could have graduated last year, but I got in trouble last year too. And that's why I don't want to go across the street, because if I go over there, my education's shot. I'm a, by the time I get out of jail, I'm going to be too old to go to high school, and then I'm going to have to be forced to get a GED, and I don't... I don't, I don't think, I, I think, I think I'm above a GED. I think I, I think I deserve my high school diploma. He's becoming very angry and disgruntled and he thinks acting out is going to get him out of here. And that's not gonna work. You know better, Kevin. I understand that, Kevin. I understand that. And I know that's what's really got you worked up. Kevin, chill out. Behave yourself, I'll give you a phone call, all right? Will you do that? All right. Nobody wants to have to be physical. You know, you don't want to have to restrain a kid if you don't have to restrain them. If I can get to them through communicating with them verbally and just sitting down and talk to them, you know, I, I'd much prefer that. Hold on, I'm gonna give you a map. Okay, I'm taking you at your word, Kevin. Judge, I'd call their mother very briefly, just for a couple quick questions. Now, you understand that there's a recommendation that both of your sons be placed in a residential placement for the purpose of receiving a variety of services and educational tools and things like that. Yes. What did you want to say with respect to those options?
Do you think your kids can come home with you today, or should they? It's for the best. <laughs>